because I get my bloods done every four weeks now. And um, and I've just felt like, right, OK, that security of being out of the hospital, which because which, it was a security blanket for me. Um, and I was out in this big world now. <gasps> oh. And then the district nurses took over. I got a, an infection. I, I, I didn't feel well. I got a high temperature. So I, I had to go to a &E and I got kept in for a few nights because I had an infection. But, but prior to that, my Hickman line, it felt a bit sore on the outside. So I think it might have had something to do with that. And then I got that and within a couple of days, Robin, bless her, she emailed me, all clear, fantastic. So I was absolutely elated with that. I really was. After what had been said to us in the beginning, and again, words of encouragement, and she said that um, the cancer may, may return. There was a chance that it may return. And I, I, I've been well aware of that because that, that was always something when I was in hospital that I was under no illusion that it was one of these cancers that may return. But I've, hopefully it'll not be for a long time. So, so I'm currently on my PARB inhibitors. I've been on them over a year now. Um, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling well, um, you know, it, it, like I say, just a couple of times I had to go and see the GP just for a like, little bit of reassurance. I just that remained positive and just so grateful for everything. And I mean, I do get tired more than what I did before, but I, I just work my life around it. It's a different way of like how I go about things now. And I'm, I've struggled after chemo. I'm, I think I'm struggling more now mentally than I did during the process. Um, I have um, just recently been referred to a clinical psychologist um, by one of the hospitals because I'm not, I think I'm doing all right, but I'm not like everything I doubt in my mind that it's cancer. And it's nice to know that I do have people that I can call now, whereas before I just, I had a cancer nurse specialist, but I wasn't quite too sure what to call them for. But one thing, um, I'm still getting messages, and I know it's not through the hospital themselves, but for my doctor's surgery, I must have had about seven reminders to go for my cervical smear. Um, I don't have a cervix. <laughs> and um, I keep ringing them and telling them and going in and saying, listen, I, I don't have a cervix. I don't need this. I've checked with the hospital. And they're like, oh, we'll take you off. We're really sorry. And I'm like, but you're not, because this is seven times in a year that this has happened, like either through like phone call or a text message or a letter through the post, it's quite, um, it's a triggering. And I went through a stage where I wasn't actually bothered. I was like, oh, it's fine. But now as I'm coming to the realization of what's actually happened, it could tip me over the edge. That's where I feel that it's the small things. And I felt that I understood um, where I was at um, and, also the support mechanisms that were still there so you know having a um, nurse specialist contact direct contact that I need if I needed to ring I could do or if I had any worries or concerns um, I had regular appointments set up there's nothing that I could say really that I think could have been done better I think um, the support that I've had through appointments through um, known the people to contact outside of those appointment times if I was worried and did so and had really useful support and advice. So, um, yeah, really positive. It was scary at first because whenever you got any symptoms, which I still, of course, had the colitis, whenever I got any symptoms, I could phone up. There was Gemma and there was um, Dr Hughes of Freeman's. And I knew I could phone up and, um, I mean, all the, like last year, I think I had about four scans and I think it was just me overthinking things, thinking it was a back. But I think for that, yeah, on the 2020, it was like, um, we're like fighting a battle and then it was hard to think, oh, relax. <laughs> so, yeah, they were really good. I knew I could phone up if I had any symptoms, which I, some, I often did. And... Um, but I think it was just for having the clients as well. You know, when I was getting bloated and pain, is it the clients or is it cancer? It, it was a hard year. But now, do you know, after a year, I think I've come to terms with it. Um, I'm just getting the all clear again. After a scan, I had um, 
the beginning of January. And I think it's like, it's like when they give you the old clear, you're like constantly looking over your shoulder. Where is it? When's it coming back? And, but it is hard, but I think I've come to terms with it now. I'd like to think I have. Everything was explained really well. Um, and I'm at the stage now, obviously, I've been told it's clear, so I'm in rem remission. And like I say, just the three monthly checkups. But the way I was, the way I've been trained, explained about everything, everybody has explained everything 